Today is such a gorgeous warm day that I decided that I was gonna take out my summer board and learn how to press it, tail press it specifically. Maybe we'll work on nose presses. I have kind of done them in the past, but I did uh, twist my ankle pretty bad doing it. Ah. All right, buddy. Now that was a shoe problem. So the first step of today was high top shoes so we don't twist our ankle. And now we're gonna go for it because my buddy Steven can literally do a tail press on the summer board forever. And so I want to be like Steven. So I'm gonna come out here, practice my tail presses today. Ah! <laughs> that being said, this is the summer board, 360 degree wheel, 12 miles in distance, 28 miles per hour. This thing is a beast. I'll talk more about it a little bit more later. And I guess welcome to today's video. You're not ready. It's gonna be sick. Let's uh, let's just warm up first, though. Backsides are way harder. <laughs> I almost had three full 360s. I've never done that. Okay. It's time, it's time to press. Now my goal is gonna be to press past this line. And I'm gonna start from this line. So start the press here, hold the press to there. No taps, no falling down early. We're coming to here. Now the way the press works is there's three wheels. So if you lock in correctly, you're locked into these three wheels and you can just some people are so good at it. So before I add momentum, I'm just gonna kinda, ooh, ooh. Maybe momentum will be easier. There it is. That's the balance point. If I can find that while moving. We'll be doing presses bef before we know it. The leg burn. Shut the front door, no way. First tee. Was that beginner's luck? I've never pressed that far before. Well, let's go. No, no, see, maybe it's beginner's luck. I don't know, let's try again. Oh, it's coming for the camera. <laughs> this is so sick because I haven't done this. This is new. Ah! What? That was so sick, dude, the finding the balance point. Something I used to do, I didn't know if I should throttle. I honestly don't know if I am throttling still, but I would go into the press and I'd give it too much gas and I'd wheelie myself out, which is what happened when I twisted my ankle as well. You guys, we're doing presses, this is sick. So it's more of a like, a, you don't pop into it, you like, Kind of rock into it. Yeah, you like rock into it instead of popping into it. Look at me go, woo! So I was trying to pop into it like I'd kind of do on my snowboard. But it's like a, like a lean, ah. And then when you find it, like when you really find it, you get so locked in. Obviously it's gonna take repetition of like get it dialed, dialed. I think there's a, a happy speed as well. Not too fast, not too slow. <laughs> it's always funny when I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come out, do a challenge, and like try something new, and then I got it first tee. Obviously, I'm having challenges after the fact. Sometimes with action sports, that's how it is. Like, I'm gonna do this trick. And the first time you get it, you're like, yeah. And then all the times after that, you're like, why can't I do it again? But I do wanna take a second to mention the summer board. This is what I'm rocking. It has a 360 degree wheel. It's electric. <laughs> and it literally rips like a snowboard. It turns pavements into groomers. You're just back foot rudder and ripping around, going edge to edge, just like you do on a snowboard. You can do incredible mountain passes, or if you live in Texas, you know, you ride the bike path around your area. It's a great way to get in shape for snowboarding. I love this thing so much. It's my summer addiction. Summer is basically here. So snag a summer board for this summer. You can use code JB100 and save $100 off of it. But this thing, you can take it into skate parks and actually rip it and send it. It is a tank, man. I cannot destroy this thing. I mean, I've had to replace maybe just the little motor pieces but for the most part you can go out and absolutely rip and beat the crap out of this thing and she gonna keep kicking it I, I love it that's what i'm rocking right now is the summer board
Man, I should have bought it. I brought the 360 out. I went so much farther on that one. I'm, I'm rocking the Ace Pro. I didn't want to do all the reframing, but the summer board mixed with the 360 cameras, by the way. That is a one of the best ways to get to get the shots. My wife's phone just showed up. They uh, tried to say that they couldn't deliver earlier today. She was pissed. Oh, only perfect signatures. Thanks, man. Look what I got for you. She uh, broke her phone saving her dog from other dogs. She's a good dog mom. Can I show you a trick? <laughs> I'm trying to go a longer distance now. Oh! Overthrottle. That's what happens when you overthrottle. Oh! That's the worst too, because your my front foot came off in the back. I demonstrated it in the how to bail off the summer board video that I just posted the other day. Check it out right there. That's the worst case scenario with the summer board. Don't do that when you're pressing. Don't overthrottle. I'm tapping like crazy. <sighs> I can literally spend hours in my driveway ripping this thing. Ah, oh, I ran out of speed. I had that one. But I was afraid to throttle it and give it, you can throttle it, you just can't over throttle it. Ugh. It's called getting good at a sport. You gotta learn the nuances, the finite, the, the little things. And all of that comes with time. I coach snowboarding. I'm about to do my summer camp if you wanna sign up, but I coach snowboarding and so many people like, they want the trick that day and it's like hey it's gonna take a second it's gonna take a lot of attempts and even when you get it like i got the tail press first try i didn't have it any other time after that you know i've got it a couple more times since the start of the video but you know like it's not every time it's not it's, it takes time <sighs> let's change directions i think if i start trying to do it this way might be better luck oh! That one was it. Ah. Yeah. Ah. That's the closest to catching an edge you'll get on this, by the way. I made a whole video on it. I will say I want to take a quick second to mention like, I was just saying I want to get better at the summer board. Well, here I am setting these little, okay, I'm going to press from this line to this line, okay? Now I got a bigger line that I'm going to press from, you know, and obviously I'd love to get to a point where I could press this whole driveway, but you're not going to get better at a sport unless you like literally set goals, push yourself, come out with intention. Like, hey, I'm going to learn how to press the summer board. Even with snowboarding, like, oh, I'm going to learn 180s off rails today. I'm going to learn 180s in general, anything like that. So get out there push yourself a little bit my adrenaline's pumping i've had a couple i had, I had that one scary fall like i love falling in a way because i don't like the saying if you're not falling you're not learning but i think falling is inevitable when you are pushing yourself as a human to get better putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation and i think a lot of you guys might might need to do that a little bit more on a day-to-day -day basis in the summer board you can rip almost every single day unless it's gonna puke it's literally gonna snow 16 inches between tonight and sun saturday like in two days it's gonna snow 16 inches in the springtime what a wild spring we've had other than that you can get out on the summer board ah, i'm like halfway right now ah, that one was gonna be it it's so hard oh i was for sure that was the one I had like one foot left. Ugh. All right, we've literally gotten like a foot from completing this goal. We're so close. We have a couple more. If we don't get it, that's okay though, because I like setting goals that are hard to achieve because if you don't hit them, I'm already pressing way further than I thought I would be, which is gonna really open up hopefully doors this summer in the skate park to like jump onto a box into a press and then like do a press on the box. It could be really cool. Just a lot of hopefully cool things to come with the summer board. So subscribe. Let's see if we can get it. A couple more. Ah! I'm like capped out at the same spot. I don't know why. Oh, I'm pretty pooped, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I 
snowboarded hardcore t earlier today. That's what I do for a living. It's snowboard in summer. I snowboard for a living. Nah, I, I'm very proud of myself. I got to about like, I think this was my furthest, so like three feet left. We can always save that for another day, another video. Tail pressing, I didn't even try nose pressing, but my, <gasps> my back foot's on fire. <laughs> a lot of hop in, a lot of nuance, micro muscles. You don't even know the muscles you use when you, uh... by the way, we cleaned up the uh, backyard park, put all the rails away. It's always sad when we got to put the backyard park away, but we do have our very own like skate park park as well. We got the ramps that I got to dig out. We'll bust them out and start jumping things. I, I love the summer board. I love you. That being said, once again, if you want to grab one, it's linked in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this channel, and we do do stuff like this. Daily.